Hi, in this tutorial you're gonna learn how to use Python and the Python package experiment to create a flanker task. Uh, in the tutorial I'm gonna use a text editor called Jedit. If you use a Windows computer you can use Notepad or any other type of text editor that you like to use. So first I start by saving a file on my desktop. I name it flankertask.py. Okay, so now we're gonna create our script. We start by importing the library experiments and we're going to use a quite basic setup for this experiment so we start with its experiment settings like number of trials per block and number of blocks and some durations number of trials per block we have four number of blocks is going to be six and duration is going to be 2000 milliseconds and our flanker stimuli can be stored in a list I name it flanker stimuli so first the, in the congruent The incongruent okay. okay the subjects need some instructions so they know what to do in the task for instance which keys in the keyboard are they to press so I've already made and I'm gonna cut and paste this variable into this document. So press the key that matches the arrow in the center. Try to ignore all other arrows. New line. Press on the on the X if the arrow points to the left. Press on M if the arrow points to the right. And press by spacebar to start the test. And now we can go on with creating our task. And we start by creating an exp experiment object, which we give the name flanker task. Experiment. Okay, and we can initialize our experiment. Now we're ready to create our blocks and the trials in each block. So we're going to loop through each block. So we're going to do a for loop for block in range number of blocks. I'm going to use experiment here to create a temporary block of experiment. And we're gonna give it a name. So I, I I want to name my blocks the block number. So Python starts indexing from zero. So the first block is gonna be zero. And the name here can cannot be an integer like it is now. So we're gonna 
convert it to a string in block plus one so zero is going to be one and so on okay let's go on and create our blocks and the trials so we'll go for block in range and blocks in Python the first index is zero so it's gonna be zero to five here we're gonna take care of that later uh, but we start with creating a temp block object a temporary block object experiment So here, I'm going to name that because I'm going to store in the data file each block. So I'm going to name it. I want it to have um, the block number as a name. We can only take string and this is going to create a, an integer. So I can just convert that integer to a string. I want it to start at one, therefore I add one here. Okay, so next is to create the trials for each block. So we'll go in here, first block, and then we'll go in and create the trials for each block. Number of trials per block. So it's going to start at zero and go to three. Create a four trials for each. So the current stimulus cur stem flanker stimuli trial. So it's going to get the first one for the first trial. So we're going to randomize the trials later. So it's no worry that it all we create them in the same order all the time here. Uh, so a temporary stimulus object so the text is going to be the cur stem so it's going to be one of these and the text size I'm setting it to 40. I think that it will be big enough for my screen anyway. So we start a temporary, we create a temporary trial object. And, and we add our temporary stim to the temporary trial and the stimulus stim cool so here we can we know that the first two are uh, incongruent congruent I'm sorry if trial should be trial is zero is smaller than or equal to one trial type equals incongruent congruent elif it's bigger than this of course if you have uh, more trials per 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 block will not work uh, 
if you don't loop through this in some sense when creating them so you go but for for now we'll leave it like that the next step is then to um, record the correct response so we can check with an if conditional again if cur in to this middle one here if that is an arrow pointing to the left correct response equals 120 and this number the integer is what represents the X button so LF cur points to the right correct response equals to that's the M key all right so now we can add this information to our temp trial so we set factor Trial type, trial type, and then trial set factor correct response. And we can add the trials to the temp block trial so the trial will be added and now temp block Shuffle trials. But randomizing the trials. And we add the block to the experiment. Right. So So, the next thing is to set up the, da the data file. So, the variable names we're going to store, like column names. So, I'm just going to copy paste that into my script, like that. So, we want to have block, correct response actual response, trial, response time, accuracy, and what kind of trial, incongruent or fearless, for instance. And we can now start the experiment. And I skip the ready screen by setting the argument here to true. And each trial is going to start with a fixation cross. So let's create that also now. Fixation cross. Fix cross. Right? Uh, I'm going to continue with the presenting instruction, the instructions we created earlier. So Then experiment text screen anchor task instructions our instructions 
percent um, as the instruction tells the subject. Press the space bar. Start the test. We add one more line of code before experiment. Keyboard wait. I'm gonna have the script wait on in space. So I'm gonna just copy paste this into this is gonna make wait for space. Okay. When the space is pressed, the experiment starts. So her a loop or block in experiment blocks. So now the blocks are going to start and each block contains trials. So for block Sorry, for trial in block trials. The fixation cross is going to be presented. So, fixation cross present. And let's preload the flankers. And as we previously coded in here, duration. So the fixation cross is going to be on the screen before the target is presented. And we use experiment clock and wait for durations. So we wait for 2000 milliseconds. And now the flankers and the target. Is going to be presented. And so we reset a clock here. Reset, stop, watch. We're recording response times and we need to sort of know here. When to start record, and we also need to know later. It's gonna be more evident. So the next thing is to record the key and the response time. So we have the experiment key, and we wait for the keys, and here we wait for. X and M, so I'm just going to copy them here. Right. But also, we need to set how long it's going to wait as maximum, so duration, durations. So now it's going to wait at the top 2000 milliseconds. Right. But as it is coded right now, when the subject pre presses either X or M, it's going to end the trial. So we need to wait a bit longer here. So experiment clock wait. Durations and the time stop watch time. So now it's gonna wait. So each trial will be two thousand milliseconds long. And that's good. The next next thing is to find out the, the correct response. So if the key in the trial, here we can get the factor, correct response. 
So we're gonna here we see if the key pressed is the same as the correct response for the trial. If it was the variable ACC is gonna be one else zero. So hit or comments or error. Okay, cool. So that's the end of a trial. So we need to sort of add the data and we created the variables, variable names here. So we need to store the data in this order. So I just cut and paste here. Something I already created. Block name, correct response, actual response, trial, response time, ACC, what trial type it was. So typically, after a block, is run here. We're gonna go through one block. The first block is gonna go here. We're gonna run four trials, and then we we'll come here, and we may want to have a break. So if, but we don't want it if this, if it's the last block. So block name. That's not six. Then we. Add some text on the screen. I'm just gonna copy paste here. Right, so I'm gonna name it a short break. That's gonna be sort of the headline. And then there was a block and the block name. And the next block was in start. This will be presented. And then we also went want it to be presented on the screen for a while. So here I put 3000 milliseconds so it will start automatically but you could also put wait key on keyboard and add that they need to press space bar or something whatever key you want to. So when the task has gone through like all the blocks will end and we want to notify the participants so we can have a n and a goodbye text so I'm just gonna cut and paste this in so to run the task you could just go and open up the terminal window like this on Windows you just start a command prompt so you change directory to where you saved the Python script, save it on the desktop. You can run Python blanker task pi, and that's going to run the task. So, the neat thing with the experiment is that it remembers the subject number. So, here it's the third time it starts. So Start with the third. So that is that is it. That's all. Then you can quit the experiment by pressing escape.